Uh, I think one of the most general pages you can run that'll work on any AD carry would look something like this. Uh, obviously, you're gonna have your AD marks. Um, I don't like armor pen marks. I don't think they're good. Um, I think AD early is too important. Um, just straight up knight armor. Armor is just the best choice. Uh, you can also run health. Uh, you can split health and armor. Uh, stuff like that. There are variations. I'll go over them. Um, five magic resist quints. Oops. And then um, I don't like like you. There are situations like if I if I had a hundred rune pages, I'd obviously have a page with just flat 12 magic resist however <laughs> you can only have 20 pages and sometimes you have to play other roles so you can't dedicate all 20 pages to AD carry um, I would have a page with 12 magic resist for cases like I don't know a karma corky lane or something like that or it'd be really nice to have that however I always just go with one of these choices um, I would say the most general page would be to pick up four mana regen blues. Um, it's not that much, but when you when you compare it, like say say you're running this and you have you just get enough mana for that last rocket. Um, you have just enough mana for that last rocket because you ran these, it's just it's worth it. Uh, it adds up with the feast mastery. Um and then this is where it gets in this is where it becomes preference. I prefer to run three attack speed quints on pretty much every eighty carry except for Draven. Um it gives you fourteen percent attack speed, which is nineteen percent with the masteries, which is pretty insane. It helps your early trading, early CSing. Um a lot of people think that physical damage physical damage quints will help more with CSing, but having your having your auto attack and the, like you know how it goes in the air <laughs> like whether it be like a bullet or a crossbow or whatever go faster um it helps way more with CSing in my opinion it does take some getting used to I would recommend maybe going into custom and practicing with it for a little bit before taking it into ranked but I would suggest this uh page for pretty much every AD carry except for Draven um a slight variation to that page um, that I run on Vayne. So I run one attack speed, one attack speed red, flat armor, your magic resist, oops, not mana regen, and then four attack speed blues and five attack speed reds. Um, basically, the reason for the attack speed red is see how you have 8.5 here and 16% here. It just rounds. It just rounds better. You get 18 and 7.6. Although, like, yet yeah, it doesn't round up to eight. Um, it, it just rounds better. Like, when you put in when you put in 1.7% attack speed, and you get 2% here. Like, it's just. I like it. I like it. Trust me. Just trust me. Just try this on Vayne. You will like it. And Max W. It's really good. Uh, this is what I always run on Vayne. Um, I'm trying to think of another page that I would run. Um, mm, 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 mm. okay. So, on, like one of one of the one of the situational pages, I I would run this page on maybe Draven. Um, it would look something like this. You split uh, health and armor for 40 and 4. Um, you get your magic resist, some mana regen. And then you run. Well, I would run. Actually, I would run something like this on Draven. Oops. Well, okay, I'm missing two, uh, two health seals on this account. But it would equate to 72 flat health, 8.5 armor. 11 AD, and you get a little bit of mana regen. Um, it makes you so strong in lane. 
you <laughs> you become like this unkillable beast in lane. Uh, I know people like life steal, but like technically, when you're running armor, um, increases your effective health with the three percent life steal that you get from Doran's blade. Uh, it, it, you you are so tanky in lane with this setup. Two two armor quints, one AD quint. Really like a page like this in Draven. Um, alternatively, like you could run maybe like a life steal quint here, and then split these up. And you still get 8 armor, 40 health, uh, 1 AD quint and like a lifesteal quint, that'd be decent too. Or you can run an attack speed quint, that's really preference. Um, um, the mana regen blues are only good, I would say that they're only good on caster 80 carries. Um, on 80 carries that uh, really do like attack speed. For example, Vayne, uh, Twitch, Kogma, Tristana, you would want to run attack speed because they don't have—they don't really have mana problems. Um, I think that's all the pages that I really run. I really only do run two pages. I run this on Vayne, um, Kogma, Tristana, Caitlyn, Jinx. 80 carries at like attack speed, and then I run this page on 80 carries that like that are like casters, like Quirky, Ezreal. Um, Ezreal might be a little different. I might run a little bit less attack speed for maybe he he has one of the lowest base armors. And HPs in the game, so you might you might see me pick up maybe like five HP yellows here in an armor quint just to make them a little bit more tanky. Um, but yeah, th those are the those are the two pages I run, and then masteries. I'll go over masteries again. <laughs> so always attack speed. That's just too good. Um, always butcher and feast. Feast is just too good. Um, the three health and one mana. Say you kill fifty minions in lane. That's hundred and fifty health. That's insane. That's really good. Um, double edged sword. I explained it earlier. Um, you're you're an eighty carry. You're building almost pure damage. Already do a lot of damage. Do a, I want to take one point five percent additional damage from a Riven LeBlanc? R E Z. No, <laughs> that, that I don't like double edged sword. Um, I think that's better on assassins, or something. Um, exposed weakness is what a lot of people pick up. Mm, that's not bad at all. Exposed weakness is fine, um, but with the way that I have my mastery set up, I never pick it up. Um, scaling AD, flat AD, can't pass those up. Executioner, that's just a given. Uh, 5% damage increase is insane, even if it's just when they're below 50%. Um, dangerous game. I could make a mon. I could make like a 30-minute montage of how many times that mastery point saved me. I think it's the best mastery point in the offense tree. Um, okay, this is this is where it depends on what champion I'm playing. If I'm playing a caster AD carry, like Corky, Ezreal. Um, people who are building Trinity Force, Lucian, I'm gonna go Spell Weaving, Blade Weaving, um, instead of Warlord. Um, damaging an enemy with a basic attack increases spell damage by 1%. Damaging him with a spell increases basic attack damage. Um, it's just, when, when you're building a Sheen item, uh, you're gonna be spamming your spells, you're gonna be intertwining your auto attacks between your spells. So these these mastery points add up a lot of damage. Um, if I'm playing like Caitlyn, uh, Jinx, Graves, um, a whole bunch of stuff like that, they're going to be building a lot of AD, like Bloodthirst or Infinity Edge, uh, Last Whisper. Like they're going to have a lot of AD, so it's not that much, but it's still better than spell weaving, blade weaving. Uh, Devastating strikes is just a given. Like, how can you pass up? armor magic penetration. Um, Frenzy. I love Frenzy. 
I know a lot of people don't like Frenzy. Um, I just feel that one late game when I have Infinity Edge and a crit chance item. Uh, usually I do have the uh, attack speed from the Mastery, so I call I I think it's worth it. And I pick up Havoc. Always Havoc. Uh, and then Defense Tree. Please don't put two points in here. You're not going to be building nearly enough armor or magic resist to warrant picking up this mastery point. You're going to be building one defensive item. If that, sometimes you go full offense. Like, that, that mastery point is useless for 80 carries. It's even useless for tanks, in my opinion. I don't think enchanted armor is good. Recovery. Always recovery. 2 health per 5. That adds up. That adds up between... Feast, the lifesteal from the Doran's Blade, and it just adds up. It adds up a lot of health. Block, that's a given too. Um, you're an AD carry, you're going to be taking a lot of auto attacks in lane, so that's why you also pick up on yielding. Um, all damage from champions by two. I mean by one. Um, it adds up. What well, adds up? These points. Feast, the lifesteal from Doran's Blade. Um, it adds up. And then these are just the best. Um, 36 health. How many times have you lived with 36 health playing AD Gary? I bet it's a lot. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it helps. And I don't know. I mean, it's not the best mastery point, but it's, with the choices you have, it, I, I think it's the best. Um, some people do something like this. I know Cutie Pie runs this a lot. Um, I don't like it. There's been times when I've died and they, the enemy AD carry lives with like 5 HP. It's like, well, if I had, <laughs> if I had veteran scars, um, I think that's more of a preference. Uh, he, he runs it on like Lucian and stuff. I don't do it. Um, but yeah, those are the two pages. Like, Okay, so I'm playing Vayne. Here's my mastery page. If I'm playing Corky Ezreal, it's really easy to change. I I love this setup. Mm, what would you replace in the mastery tree to pick up double edged sword? I wouldn't replace anything in the mastery tree to pick up double edged sword. The only thing the only thing I would consider doing is when I'm playing like maybe like Caitlyn or something. Or something like that. Warlord's not that good. The only time I would consider picking up Exposed Weakness is to take a point out of Warlord for it. I just don't like Exposed Weakness. I don't know. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Um, yeah, those are Runes of Masteries.